Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your Triton D8 diagnostic tool. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. This training module covers viewing PID data. The scanner data display shows the current data parameter information from the vehicle's control module. To access the data, select Data Display from the Scanner Main Menu. Depending on the vehicle, this may open a sub-menu of viewing options. Remember, you can scroll down with the touchscreen or keypad for additional selections. For this example, we'll choose to view engine data from the sub-menu. A list of engine data parameters is shown along with a brief description of each parameter. The data appears in a digital text format on the right called PID view. The data values refresh as the vehicle sends new data. The speed may vary depending on the speed of the data being sent from the vehicle and the number of data parameters being shown. Scroll down to see all available data parameters. The data is continuously recorded for all available data parameters. After 4,000 frames are recorded, new data is recorded and overwrites the oldest frames of data. The pause button freezes the data display for closer examination and review. When the data is paused, other controls appear. The double arrows move forward and back 580 frames at a time. The single arrows move forward and back one data frame at a time. Move the position indicator to navigate to any part of the recorded data. Use the record icon to restart data recording at any time. When recording, you can tap the X icon to clear the data buffer and start over. This is useful when vehicle conditions change and you want to record and view new frames of data. The save icon allows you to save the recording for later review. The settings icon brings you to the settings menu. Select the back icon to return to the scanner data screen. The custom data list function gives you even more power to customize the view. Selecting the custom data list check mark opens the menu for selecting parameters to display. Check marks to the left of the parameter description indicate which parameters are selected for display. Touch a parameter and add it to the custom data list. Touch it again to delete the check mark and delete the parameter from the list. When you have created your custom data list, select the check mark to return to the data display and view the list. Custom data lists can significantly accelerate the speed of the data display by processing only the vehicle data that you need, so you can find tough intermittent failures faster. To select all the PIDs, press the Custom Data List icon. Press the Select All Deselect All icon to select all the PIDs. Select the check mark to return to the data display and view the list. The sort function is another handy way to find and view the parameters you need. Select the sort icon to sort the list by the factory default sort order or from A to Z or Z to A. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.